<laughs> that's what's a big, a big margin, a big score yeah. uh, against their, our neighbors. Mm -hmm. And even they could not believe when they scored one try. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's a game when it's our neighbors, our yes. noisy neighbors. Sometimes we call them our noisy neighbors. Yes. Yeah. Uh, playing against Algeria, that was a tough one. Uh, mm -hmm. We came, uh, we came where we, where we were behind, but we came and uh, we, we managed, we managed the game. Yes. <coughs> and then we, <coughs> we held on at the last minute and uh, we won. I think that that was a big plus for and a big thing for our rugby. You, you know, you, you look <coughs> at uh, the team when it went for the Curry Cup division and when we started winning, I think we won the three matches uh, here at home when we won against Leopards, when we won against Elephants and now against uh, Uganda and Algeria. It's a yeah. very good trajectory yeah. for the Simpas that they are coming in with, winning some good, serious matches. Oh, yeah. Because now when you look at our graph, it's, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's now gone up completely. Yes. And I think that shows that uh, now we've uh, discovered the, the, the winning formula mm -hmm. and the boys are doing well and uh, they're executing how, 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 how the game is supposed to be and they're managing one yes. game at a time. Mm -hmm. <coughs> uh, having hosted the Curry Cup here, you know, when we were in South Africa, we started low, but we yes. finished on a high note. Mm -hmm. And uh, in fact, I was seeing the commentator during our match against Algeria and he was saying yes. that uh, surprisingly Kenya finished um, ahead of Zimbabwe. But mm -hmm. when from the start, Zimbabwe looks uh, much better than Kenya. Yes. That tells us our, how our game has grown and how mm -hmm. the players have gelled together, yeah. how they are working as a team and uh, they are, uh, now they have gotten the, the winning formula, which mm -hmm. now they are executing. Yeah. <coughs> Well, a very good one for the Simbas there as yeah. we are waiting for them to play against Namibia tomorrow. A tough final it is uh, for the Simbas, but they have to perform in that one. There, there's no option for them. Yeah, uh, definitely there's no option. <laughs> yes. Because <laughs> uh, we've been close. We came close. Uh, that was yes. uh, during the 2015, uh, mm -hmm. 2014. Yes. Qualifying for 2015 World Cup. Mm -hmm. And uh, 2019, again, we went to final and we lost in Namibia. Yes. Uh, that was in Widow. <coughs> so this time again we are meeting again with the final. So mm -hmm. that tells us also the, the big, the, the big uh, uh, rugby teams actually mm -hmm. it's Simpas and uh, Namibia. Yes. Because now they are meeting consecutively twice um, mm -hmm. in a row in the in the finals yeah. of uh, World Cup qualifying. And uh, uh, boys have no option. I think they saw what happened that time and they might not probably wish to go the repechage way. Yeah. Because actually it's a different ball game there and uh, also the teams yeah. are meeting different from a different continent. So it's easy uh, to play here against Namibia. So it's just about the boys, how they'll uh, tomorrow, how they'll package themselves, how yes. they'll uh, all come to the game, mm -hmm. how they'll be able to play uh, the game, to be in the game yes. up, up to the end, and uh, they'll be able to, 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 to win tomorrow against Namibia. Because uh, <coughs> the only thing, and I remember if the coach decides and say now our bench is okay, mm -hmm. uh, depth is okay, now for the first 15 minutes, going hard, mm -hmm. going hard and uh, be able to contain the Namibia, minimize yes. the mistake and let everybody in the game. The only yeah. defending, let us maintain the discipline, mm -hmm. our defense, so that uh, at least we, 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 do, we, do, we don't have, a, they don't have a numerical advantage. Yes. We better have a numerical advantage than mm -hmm. them having a numerical advantage. Yeah. So our discipline will uh, take us uh, through that tomorrow's game. Well, a big one there for Kenya as they will be going to play Namibia tomorrow and you can enjoy that match. It's usually live and a big one for Simbas as they're actually proving to be all right. But also let's shift our focus to what is happening here at home. The National 7th Circuit is actually happening and today it is the fifth leg in Prince Lu Nakuru and big change that there is no <laughs> team that is actually defending this time round. Yeah. I knew winner in every leg. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think that also tells us how competitive our seventh rugby is and yes. the tacity <coughs> the, the teams have been having. Mm -hmm. having missed in the last two years because of the COVID and coming back strongly. Yes. And that's why it's, uh, every every circuit has got uh, a new winner. And mm -hmm. that tells us how the competitive uh, <coughs> the circuit is, which yes. is good. And uh, in, uh, in Austin, Dallas, and I mm -hmm. saw homeboys coming up strongly. Yeah. Although, although they have the history of winning Dallas sevens, mm -hmm. uh, but they came out and, and uh, having the young guys also playing like Amon Mamalwa, yes. uh, being uh, one of uh, the, the guys who took us the World Cup. Yeah. You remember in Kampala, mm -hmm. and he was in that particular game. Yeah. And he was able to display the game, open up the game, mm -hmm. the likes of Nyakundi. Mm -hmm. Oilas also gave him a good spirit uh, yes. for the game. And uh, mm -hmm. we have very good players um, who played in the finals. Mm -hmm. And actually when you, form, when you looked at the dream team of Dala, uh -huh. And I saw actually uh, Nakur having around five, mm -hmm. Oilers having around five, sorry, uh, mm -hmm. and then having around four players. Yes. I think that tells us how competitive and how close it was uh, in Dala. Well, uh, so some of the games that you are expecting to see there in uh, Pool A, we have got Homeboys, Catholic Monks, Cabras, and Western Bulls. Then Pool B has got Menengai, Oilers, Masinde Mulero, Nakuru, RFC, and Kisumu. 
and then uh, pool C has got KCB nondescript, Impala, Kenya Harlequin, and then pool D Mwamba, Strat Molios, Black Blood, and uh, then Vihiga Granite. It's a very tough one. And we another new champion that we can expect from Prince Lou. Well, they have seen uh, the first results trickling. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, that tells us how it's going. But until we wait until tomorrow now when we have the last, uh, the, the, the one who will go to the main cup, mm -hmm. uh, the top four. Uh, yeah. what, so it, or even the eighth, the top eight, that the problem there now will be able now to see yes. uh, the projection on how we'll be able to, how the team have gone out to train for this particular week and have trained for the pre Yes. Uh, probably we might have a new winner, uh, as you say. Well, a, bi a, bi a big <coughs> shift uh, for it because now it is shifted to the other side of the world, to the western part. We had a uh, Dallas Sevens Prince Lou, yeah. and then now we'll be going to head into Kakamega yeah. for the final leg. How has it been so far fro from the assessment? Uh, so far, so good uh, yeah. because uh, we have uh, these players who've been uh, not gotten a probably a chance to be called for the national team. Uh -huh. And yes. actually, now the coach I saw the national team coach was there, McGregor was there, and yes. uh, the TM, Ongueno. Mm -hmm and the assistant <coughs> Kevin Wambua, they yes. were in uh, Dala mm -hmm. <coughs> and they have been around, they have been watching how the boys have been playing yeah. and uh, when you also see the selectors and the dream team coming up, you could mm -hmm. actually see the new names uh, that you've never expected actually to, to feature among, to be among the, the contenders for the, for the Kenyan jersey, yes. uh, they are coming up and that tells us uh, mm -hmm. that how competitive it is yeah. and also we have uh, new talents that have not been identified and mm -hmm. now it's uh, the seven circuit has opened up our eyes actually that yes. we do have good players who mm -hmm. can uh, be able to get used for the national team yeah. and that uh, will be able to bring us glory. So these are the guys now, coach will look and be able to nurture them and give them in the right yes. uh, structure, give them the right structure for the game. Mm -hmm. And uh, Kenya will be again at the top in the map. Yeah, because I actually I also <coughs> saw him in Kisumu for the Dallas Sevens there and he was looking for some of those players and uh, a player like uh, Amon Wamala was a big revelation in Uganda. No, yeah. no, no one saw him coming out, but he was one of the best players in that tournament. Yeah, and uh, mm. just a young guy uh, yeah. who was uh, playing for Chipu, and now uh, he's yes. uh, now grown. And that's a mm. um, good structure because mm. <coughs> he comes from the age grade uh, structure, the yes. under 14, under 15. Mm. Then now goes to the national team and uh, 20. Yeah. Now, now having to the senior team now. Yeah. I think that's a, a pathway, a good pathway for the players. And that's now tells us these are the structure that we support. And that's why we are working so hard with the development <coughs> structure yes. that's in Kenya, mm -hmm. uh, for the, both for the girls and the boys. Mm -hmm. So that we nurture and coaches identify the skillful yes. players. We put them in, um, in we put them in that one training. Mm -hmm. Then uh, we now we leave, we, 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 we put them in the camp again. Mm -hmm. Then we release them. Then we go and monitor them again. <coughs> yeah. Then so they join the, the pathway. And how, how is the development structure, how is it put in place? How do you implement it? Uh, well, well we, we do have, uh, the Kenya Rugby Union have got the structure for, yes. for, for development. And mm -hmm. they do have what we call the development officers, the RDOs. Yes. <coughs> These are the regions, they are across the country. Mm -hmm. So what's them, they primarily identify the talents and uh, they nurture those talents. Mm -hmm. Now the support now the national team coaches, whenever and whenever an assignment is there, yes. they are being called now, bring the, 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 those skillful players, mm -hmm. uh, the outstanding players, they give them in the camp, then yeah. the, the, the lead coaches now. Yeah, mm -hmm. they take them to represent the country. Yeah. But we keep on monitoring and maintaining their, looking at their profiles. Yes. So that's how our structure works. Mm -hmm. But also, KRU supports um, the other, the, the T&E for mm -hmm. the training of coaches, training of the referees, yeah. so that also they assist them uh, across the country. Mm -hmm. So that's our, our program. But mm -hmm. majorly, uh, well, we might not be having enough funds for running our programs, mm -hmm. but we do have uh, some funds that trickle in by World Rugby. Yes. which might not be enough, but it keeps us going and maintaining yeah. our structures. Well, it's a tough one there because I saw some of the games that were coming out of the develop the regional development, uh, yeah. REOs, yeah. was a uh, Maasai Sevens yeah, that sure. actually happened. We also had uh, Embu Sevens where these uh, players can also come and showcase some of uh, those talents. But it's a big one. I'm looking at uh, the results that are actually coming in uh, from... Uh, Nakuru, and I'll give you just around one results that have actually come in. And uh, Cabral Sugar managing to win 19 10 against the Catholic Monks. A big win for Homeboys 24 0 against the Western Bulls. And then uh, Nakuru winning 20 12 against the Masinda Mulero. And uh, then in Nondis, a draw with the Impala 12 12. KCB, a big win for them 24 14 to Kenya Harlequins. Stratmo Leos narrowly defeating Black Blood. 
12-10 and then Mwamba winning against the Vihiga Granites 26-7. So it's mm -hmm. a big one for them there. Hopefully, Homeboy is a big win for them. Looks like they have started on a high note, oh. but we'll be seeing how they'll be finished. From these results, you can never tell who the winner might be. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but when you see uh, in those two 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 wins from uh, the teams in a pool, yes. that uh, they already they have one foot already mm -hmm. in the quarterfinals. Yes. Yeah. So if they win the next match, and I think they'll be in now. Well. Yeah. It's a <laughs> tough one there. We're, tough. We're, we're waiting to see how it goes, and we. We'll, likely to see some of the changes that will be happening. Just remember that it is the touchline here on Y254. I'm Robert Osoro at Mirumbi Osoro is where you can find me on Twitter and I'm joined by Mwalimu Kikechi Kombo who is actually the Director of Youth and Innovation at the Kenya Rugby Union and we are talking matters rugby because it's a weekend of rugby and also we've got the test matches that are happening from last week to this week. France winning 2015 against Japan and then for the very first time history making Ireland defeating the All Blacks they are 23-12. We did not expect that one. <laughs> yeah, I think, uh, it's, uh, <laughs> I think it's unbelievable that uh, New Zealand have lost and but I think that tells us how uh, next year's World Cup is going to be because very you know, this competitive. Team, it's going to be competitive yes. and teams are preparing for the onslaught when it comes to next year. Yes. Uh, so uh, winning, I Ireland winning in, a, in, in it's, um, it's, it's big for the, <coughs> Irish, for the Irish rugby yes. and they have worked for many years down the line. They have played so many test matches in, yeah. uh, in, 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 in New Zealand mm -hmm. but they have never come that close and today they were able to, <laughs> to make it and uh, yeah. you know and I've seen guys saying that uh, Scott, the coach of, uh, yes. of, of uh, New Zealand, uh, this is a guy who has never uh, won even the Super Rugby mm -hmm. and the first coach now to lose to Ireland uh, to Ireland yes. uh, in New Zealand. Uh, yeah, so I think it will the not next be test match. for no. him to explain that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. But I, sometimes uh, <laughs> what I look at these coaches, eh? yeah. you know what what they do. You see now they are preparing for the World Cup because they have already qualified. So they might want to have a huge test of uh, their players. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, they bring in new players mm -hmm. uh, to play so that they can be able to gauge them and finally when they name the final squad for the World Cup, they'll be yeah. having um, a complete team. Well, it's a big one that is happening actually because currently we've got Australia also playing against England and England are leading by 19 points to zero against Australia. A try coming there by B. Vunipola and uh, is the one with uh, four points coming from penalty by Farrell. So England is leading Australia 19-0. Big win for England if also they managed to win this one. Yeah, uh, England. They have also okay. England and Australia. Australia has never uh, has always uh, had an advantage over England. Yes. But the way the England English they lost last weekend, mm -hmm. but the way they are playing today, I think yeah. um, they have um, be able to wind out and correct it uh, where they went wrong. Mm -hmm. And they, I think they were so far so good. They are managing the game. Yes. Uh, Australia they are making mistake and England are capitalizing on the mistake the uh, the, the, the Aussies are making. Yeah. <coughs> and then now they are they are leading. But we let us see how second half goes. Yeah. Because normal that's where now the game is played and remember the World Cup the bomb squad might come in. <laughs> <laughs> Talk, <laughs> talking again. about bomb squad. <laughs> talking yeah. about bomb squad actually they are playing at four this afternoon against Wales. It's a, a, a return match for them because they won again last week against Wales. Courtesy of that bomb squad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Last weekend they won and uh, they, they have made 14 changes uh, yes. in the team and uh, there was an outcry in Wales and saying that uh, that's Madarao. <laughs> How do you make 14 changes yes. uh, in the uh, team? Yes. Last, uh, last weekend it was close uh, yes. but they matched up the winner. Uh, but today they have made a huge change. Um, they, you know, the captain is not there. It's mm -hmm. Colisi. Yes. <coughs> the Bongi Bonabe, the Mapimbi, the yes. Chelsea Colby, the Juru, mm -hmm. they are not there. And mm -hmm. today the captain is uh, Pollard. Yes. Uh, who is standing in. Um, <laughs> but only one player, Etzbet, uh, mm -hmm. who is playing, uh, who, who, who played last weekend and now he's playing today. But actually, when you look at uh, the, the way the South African team, it's not a team to underrate because yes. uh, most of those players went to URC champion finals uh -huh. yeah. and they played. And uh, when you look at the Evan Evan Roo, the, mm -hmm. that was the the the, 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 the play of uh, the play of the tournament. Yes. <coughs> yeah. Evan Evan Roo's the the guy from uh, Stormers uh, mm -hmm. in Cape Town. Yes. And he's there. He's playing number eight. So mm -hmm. it's uh, as of clinical. And people questioned last weekend why mm -hmm. why the coach was not involving him. Mm -hmm. So the coach tell him to wait. And now mm -hmm. the guy is given a chance. Look yeah. at. Uh, the, the world player of the year, uh, Steven uh, Steph, uh, Diot, mm -hmm. now he's playing today yes. and he's there, he's playing um, the, the outside loose. Mm -hmm. So, <coughs> so this 
Uh, they, they have a complete team. Uh, yes. Wales, Wales, Wales should not take it lightly that uh, South Africa, the Springboks have made 14 changes yes. uh, in the starting team. Their pool is very large. Yeah, their pool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they have a massive, massive uh, yes. good players. Mm -hmm. And what uh, Niba is also doing is uh, he's working, he's using these players to prepare on uh, the final squad that will take it. You know, they are defending champions. Yes. They must have a very strong uh, team to take next year uh, for the World Cup in France, Paris. Do, can they defend that World Cup? Yeah, it's possible. Mm, yes. When you look at the depths of uh, the SN, yes. uh, they have a huge depth. And mm -hmm. whenever they play, you can see they manage the game in the field. Yes. Uh, the breakdowns, they are managing it well. The set pieces, perfect. Yeah. So, uh, and you now sometimes the coach now sees whom do I choose now. Mm -hmm. But now from this, he had 42 players now yes. that's being using. Mm -hmm. Last weekend he used, now he said, say, those guys who, didn't do, who were not uh, involved last weekend, yeah. he's given them a chance this time. So yeah. if they win this weekend, now it even complicate him. Uh, but now that's a good preparation for the World Cup next year. But they will be having more series to come. Yes. Yeah, the coming championship uh, coming up against New Zealand, Argentina, the Pumas, and uh, Australia. Uh, that's in August, July, yeah. August. Then mm -hmm. they'll have the test matches against France, England. Mm -hmm. uh, that is in um, towards the end of the year. That's some so serious <coughs> preparation serious for the preparation. spring books. Yeah, sure. Yeah. And then uh, the final match today will be Argentina versus uh, Scotland. Yeah. Argentina can go with that one, but it's not a walk in the park. Yeah, uh, Scotland has been so erratic. Uh, I don't yes. know why, but Scotland has been a very stable uh, union. Yes. Uh, but the way they are playing, then it's not the way the Scottish play their rugby. Yes. So probably, I don't know, probably when they messed up in the World Cup <laughs> the other time, 2015. Uh, mm. But we cannot say they mm. cannot come back. I yes. think they just, they are preparing and uh, they probably they are making changes and new guys are coming in also mm -hmm. with the new coaches yeah. and they might play well. But Argentina has come up well. Yes. Argentina just was doing like what Simbas, Simbas are doing now in, in South in Curry Cup. Mm -hmm. They played in Curry Cup and uh, when they won Curry Cup, yeah. now they were in, got involved now with the national team. And yes. they, that's why they joined the, the, champion, the championship uh, tournament. Yeah. <coughs> they have been there and they have been consistent in the championship tournament. And now Argentina is among the top uh, 10 ca countries in the world. Yes. So if Simbas will maintain the Curry Cup, Mm -hmm. our tournament. We get sponsors, they sponsor these uh, teams, we yes. maintain our, 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 our presence in the, uh, in the, in the Curry Cup, mm -hmm. we win the Curry Cup, then now we move on to start now being in the, involved in the league with the Springboks. Yes. I think now uh, we'll be there. Yeah. Yeah. Our, our rugby will actually be changing. So let's uh, briefly recap of what will be happening tomorrow because it is the final of uh, the Rugby Africa Cup final between Kenya and Namibia and the winner is supposed to represent the, their team in the Rugby World Cup 2023. Where do you think we can win that match against Namibia? Well, uh, we just need to slow them, uh, yes. slow Namibia. Mm -hmm. uh, slow them, they're running the ball. Mm -hmm. We try to, our defense, we just rush on the defense yes. and we contain them. Mm -hmm. uh, we contain the, the, them yes. both, in the, uh, both, both in, the, in the backs and the forwards. Mm -hmm. Then we'll be able to win this game. Uh, mm -hmm. we, we had them we, we had, um, up. Uh, some some lapses actually when we are defending the malls and uh, yes. that's where <laughs> Algeria cup lies on yeah uh, unfit but you see now the malls were keeping them in the game mm -hmm. and that's where we were not able to actually to stabilize we are not a bit stable in the, yes. the malls so I think if the coach can be able to stabilize uh, mm -hmm. in the malls especially on the defense yeah. uh, of the malls and uh, we play so much on their quarters mm -hmm. we'll be able to to win also on the mm -hmm. lineouts. Mm -hmm. uh, just discipline, uh, try to uh, yes. minimize uh, mm -hmm. so that we don't give them opportunity uh, mm -hmm. to play the, the mall, the lineups and the malls. Yes. Uh, scrummages we need to contain. Yeah. Uh, we've been good. I think when I was watch the, the, the curry cup, yeah. uh, we've been very good. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes uh, issues come up, uh, yeah. probably you cannot be stable, but I know when mm -hmm. they go up and probably when they're going to the game, yes. they said we are perfect in the, uh, we are perfect in the line out, we are perfect in the mall, we are perfect in the scrimmages. Mm -hmm. But now when they, during the game, they saw there's a problem. Yes. But they have gone out to mm -hmm. correct those mistakes. Yeah. So if they come up, the coach has corrected the mistake, I know Simbas will take this one. Well, it's yeah. a big one there for Simbas tomorrow. What time will be the game? Uh, in the evening, probably I'll, I'll check the I'll, I'll check for you the time before yes. we are, before we go at the end of the program. Yeah, because the Algerian yeah. one was actually at night, but the Ugandan was actually at four. So when we get the timelines, we'll be telling you when you can watch that game between Simbas and Algeria. Thanks a lot, Marimu, yeah. for coming through. Thank you, thank you. All right, thank you for inviting me. That's where we come Sorry. to the end of this segment. Let's enjoy a short break there and enjoy some of the highlights of what is happening around the world. When we come back, we'll be talking more about the fan zone and what is happening in the transfers.